Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum Faflock series. In the last episode, we had a couple of changes to our team, and between episodes you might be able to see on the bottom screen already, which kind of defeats the purpose of the layout, <laughs> gonna be honest, uh, that uh, Kevin has evolved into a Monferno between episodes, and now is actually a fighting type and has a fighting type move. And also, that fighting type move is Mark Punch, so it's also a priority. It's a little bit higher level than the rest of my team. It's level 15 compared to level 14 of the rest of my team. Uh, after this episode, everybody's going to be a much higher level anyway, because I don't know what Erica's levels are like, uh, but I think they're like level 20-ish. I'm going to look it up actually right now live. Um, I'm a little bit scared um, about Erica Platinum. I think that'll be enough, right? No, it will not be. <laughs> Pokemon team. Why am I doing this live? I, I don't know. Yeah, there's a, a... It's not even Erica. It's Gardenia. Erica's in Kanto. I'm stupid. Okay, never mind. So, I'm a little bit unleveled, I think, for the Eternal Forest, but I will get healed after every single battle we have. So, I think I'll be fine. And after this episode, I think I'll be doing a little bit of grinding, so everybody will be roughly around the same level uh, to start as the next episode. In which we will actually... I have to remind myself... There's double battles here. But I can actually capture the first trainer Pokemon we run into. And I don't know how that would actually work with a double battle. I guess the same as with wild double battles in... Um, black and white. Which we not, never actually had happen to us. But I just get to choose which one I want. But I don't know until the last Pokemon comes out. Which is an interesting twist. I, yeah, I guess that's... How things go, we just kill one of the trainers. Oh, we don't kill the trainers. We don't, we're not monsters. We just kill the pets. And then leave one of them with only the last Pokemon. And I think we'll be able to catch it. I don't know how the double battle mechanic with catching works in this generation. It might be the case that you can't actually catch Pokemon in a double battle. Even if it's just one left in the generation. Something tells me that might be the case. I don't know. I guess we'll see. This also makes me wonder how uh, the catching Pokemon uh, from trainers cheats would work in Generation 3 with Double Battles. Because in that generation, Double Battles and throwing balls never really happen at the same time. Because there's no Wild Double Battles. At least in this generation, there's Wild Double Battles to some extent. Um, with these partner encounters, right? So... Yeah, this first, uh, this first one we can't even take on on our own. A lot of these we can actually take on uh, without... Maybe not in this forest, actually. But I think in uh, Iron Island, which is way down the line, we can actually take on most of the trainer battles without them actually being double battles. So I'm going to go ahead and guess it's two and two. Uh, I can't catch either of these. So I'll be able to choose from the... Oh, this is going to be horrible. Because Chance is going to kill whatever I want to catch. If I don't catch it in like one or two turns. Oh my god, no. That's not good. <laughs> That's very not good for me. I would very much have liked Patch Ratio. Not because it's good. As a matter of fact, Patch Ratio is... Okay, I, I know I just said you're not good. And you're level 16. Uh, but you didn't have to go do that. Holy crap. Okay, um, let's switch out Gaia here. Uh, not into Chobi. Hell no. Uh, not into Green. Maybe Linus? Would Wurmple have a bug type move yet? Actually, I'm Poison type as well, I think. Yeah, I'll be fine with Linus. I think. Okay, Th that was a little bit scary. That's a scary start for the episode, and um, I want to mention one thing, by the way. I haven't recorded in like over a week because uh, if you've seen the mystery dungeon episode without any game audio i don't even know if that one's going up before or after this and also last episode in this series didn't have any audio so there's a lot of things without audio going around um i talked about how i wasn't feeling that well over the past couple of weeks i've just been a little bit sick well that's mostly been resolved and a lot of fruit and and just orange juice so much Freaking orange juice and I feel somewhat decent again decent enough for me to actually record like there's more energetic series and 
I was kind of expecting that Mystery Dungeon episode to be a very, like, low energy episode. Ended up being 25 minutes of straight cutscenes, which wasn't very good for my voice. But I figured, let's go with Mystery Dungeon because I can just sit back and go through a couple of dungeons, do a couple of missions, a little bit of grinding, and uh, we'll be fine. But that didn't end up happening, and that was a horrible experience for my throat. And here we are, recording this today. So that's the entire story of... Uh, Okay, both of those Pokemon died in the same turn. So now both of them are going to send out their second Pokemon, which are Silcoon and Cascoon. Oh, one of them has three and the other has one. So I could, in theory, have caught a Pachiritsu. I can't pronounce that Pokemon's name, by the way. Don't kill me. Um, I know this is not going to be very effective against the Silcoon, but it's just a Silcoon. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that he has a... Either a Beautifly or a Casco next. And I really hope it's a Beautifly. Actually, no. I hope it's a Casco because I would much rather have a Dustox than a Beautifly, I think. Right? Because Beautifly, they're both not very great Pokemon, let's be honest. And I can only switch that Pokemon into my team if something dies. And I would really rather nothing die on a team right now because the team's looking pretty good. Okay, so your last Pokemon on your team, Linus is level 15. As you can see, I'm leveling up quite quickly because I'm not that over-leveled. As a matter of fact, I'm a little bit under-leveled, like I mentioned. Okay, so you do have a Beautifly. Which is fine. Totally fine. As long as Chansey doesn't kill it, I can catch this. Hopefully. Why did I stay in, knowing that you were part flying type? Why would I ever do that? Why would I even use Mega Drain against something that is... I need to get back into it, okay? I need to get back into this whole, like, not being stupid thing. I was doing fairly well before I took, like, a week hiatus uh, from recording. But now I'm back to being full on stupid. Just give me a break. Give me a couple of episodes and I'll be back to being a little less stupid. Which isn't a good thing because next episode we have a gym battle coming up. So I need to be not stupid next episode. That being said, that gym battle we actually have a lot of types. Uh, which are super effective against it. Because it's a Grass-type gym, we have Poison-type in Matt, then we have uh, Kevin the Fire-type, and then we have Toby the Flying-type. So I think we should be good <laughs> for that gym. Even if I'm a little bit stupid, one thing might die. I hope it dies. Holy crap. You take that fairly well. I mean, I know it's Fury Swipes, and in this generation, multi-hit moves haven't gotten the buff yet. I think that's a Generation 6, maybe even Generation 7 thing. Um, talking about which, I actually downloaded a 3DS emulator because I've been hearing it kind of works uh, as of late. I don't know how long it's been working for. I haven't kept up with it in years. I know it's a little bit weird, right? Because uh, the 3DS emulates... Oh my god, oh, this is gonna kill. Okay, so we're not getting a Beautifly. Uh, 3DS emulators, they have taken a very, very long time to actually be, like, properly working. They are only now starting to get working, and still a lot of games don't run fantastic on them. But the 3DS itself, uh, I've got mine right over here, the 3DS itself uh, is on its way out. I think, actually, we can officially say the 3DS is retired, because I don't think there's any more games coming out for it. I think any game coming out for a Nintendo console at this point, handheld included, will be a Switch game, I'm pretty sure. Should we do this? You know what? You only live once. Let's do this double battle. And only now is the 3DS emulator starting to come together a little bit uh, to the point where you can actually play games on it. And I've been trying it out and I've been thinking about maybe doing a 3DS game next. And that's all I'm going to say about it. And the fact that I'm not doing it on my physical 3DS, which does have a capture card in it. That's all I'm going to say about it. Make of that what you will. Also, uh, I think these Abras both have hidden power. Because otherwise, this is just two Abras with teleports. Right? <laughs> and I don't think Abra can learn anything other than hidden power. Can it? It might be able to learn, like, 
Psy wave or something stupid like that. Let's look. Let's look up Abra's move set. Uh, what is your learn sets? Um, Abra learn sets. Well, that one died. I didn't even have to pay attention. So it literally learns uh, teleport by level up. That's all. I guess... Well, Hidden Power is a TM, so we should look uh, at TMs too. Oh, it learns actually quite a lot of things with TMs. It can learn uh, Focus Punch, Calm Mind, Toxic, everything can learn Toxic. Hidden Power, Sunny Day, Taunt, Light Screen, Protect, Rain Dance. Okay. At a Generation 3, let's actually... It doesn't have a Generation 4 listing for it. Well, let's keep going. Safeguard, Frustration, Iron Tail, Return, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Double Team, uh, Reflect, Shockwave, Torment, Facade, Secret Power, Rest, Attract, Thief, Skill Swap, Snatch, and Flash. Is what it can learn by Asia. What? I'm going to have to look at uh, the replay for that one. What the frick happened there? Huh? Okay. Um. Okay. That, uh, that happened. L let's go into green. I really don't know what happened there. Also, my mic is uh, beaking a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I don't know how this is going to impact sound quality, but it's going to impact uh, the volume, which is going to then in turn impact the sound quality, I guess. Oh, it's hidden power fighting! That's why it was doing so much damage. And the other one didn't have fighting, that's why I didn't think it would be doing so much. Okay, I, I, just, I just understood what's, what's happening. You don't have to point it out in the comments, I just understood. And I just wasn't paying attention because I was looking at its movesets and... Uh, actually, let's not forget that Dire is dead. We, we can't use Dire anymore. Um, let's actually keep using Green a little bit, because getting everybody up to level 15 uh, through like natural experience battles and that kind of stuff... Uh, it's, by the way, I should have definitely should have uh, done those battles one at a time. Because otherwise, well, you see what happens. Things die. Uh, we can run away from wild bouts. That was a bummer. I would have liked to be able to uh, to capture one of those Abras, though. Would have been nice to be able to get an Alakazam. Because while the trade evolutions aren't patched out because there's another randomizer, um, still, I would probably... I think I mentioned it in an episode before. Uh, if a Pokemon reaches like level 36, which is the starter evolution level for the max evolution, I'll just... Poke jam them into their evolved form. So having Abra, which would eventually become an Alakazam and become a Kadabra before the next gym, even so, would be good. Getting an Abra very early on wouldn't be particularly good because it would be useless until uh, it evolved. But at this point in the game, just getting it up to the level that my team is at, I didn't know you could run into Wild Beautifly here. Huh. Is that like a low percentage chance? I, I legitimately didn't know you could do that. I, I really had no idea. Okay, we'll learn something new every day. Also, I want to point out that my team member, uh, my, my teammate's Pokemon is level 20. My Pokemon are level 15. And level 40. But let's say level 15 to be optimistic, right? Chansey is level 20. And the reason that we're escorting uh, this useless piece of crap is... <sighs> can we please stop it with the wild encounters? They're annoying. I'm not going to fight him anyway. You can also run into a Cascoon. I wonder if Dustox is also an encounter you can run into here. Huh. Anyway, the reason that we're doing this escort mission to begin with is that we can't escape. Uh, is that apparently Cheryl has a rough time getting through the Eternal Forest by herself. In playing at a level 20 Chansey, by the way, if I had a level 20 Chansey, I would be absolutely steamrolling the entire Eternal Forest, even though Chansey isn't that offensive. Um, isn't enough. And yet we're level 15 with our team. 
I, I know I'm like mixing gameplay elements and like semi lore elements here, but just just let that sink in for a moment. And I think that is uh, pretty much the end of the Eternal Forest, right? I managed to avoid most trainer fights. Wow, I didn't know you could actually avoid that many of them. In my Chimchar solo run, which I've been doing um, on my own time, which I am also actually recording for a video, so is it really my... You know what I mean. Uh, I had to fight quite a lot of these trainers, which ended up getting Chimchar to a very, very high level. Um, and then, of course, the upcoming gym as Chimchar wasn't an issue, especially with this high level. And now I uh, just past the third gym with that room and I said I wasn't going to talk about it too much in this series because there's no reason to watch that video anymore if I talk about it all the time here uh, but it's the same game and it's just it's uh, it's linked in my mind um, and things are starting to heat up because it's still not uh, able to evolve into anything so it's still a chimchar at the third gym and it's like level 35 or something super like that um, so yeah, let's put away Dyer, and how long have we been going for in this episode? Are we going to go into the gym? Because this episode has only been like 15 minutes so far, and I don't think we can really do anything else. We can maybe catch one or two more Pokemon, because I think... We can at least catch one. We might be able to catch two, but... I still don't know what's up with these dad boxes. To be honest, I think everything is just going to be in box 80. Let's just do that. Because I'm going to get confused and I'm going to pick up one of these Pokemon one of these days after they have died. And if they're not supposed to be dead, well, we just buried one of our Pokemon alive. But I'm pretty sure everything in here is supposed to be dead anyway. So let's try and go catch one more Pokemon to fill out our team for the next gym battle, I suppose. Lucky thing, we lost a normal type. And Glamio and Perugly aren't the strongest Pokemon per se. They're not useless. But I'm gonna go ahead and guess that I'm not on Pokemon Sword and Shield. They might be. I, I have no idea, but if there's like... How many Pokemon from Generation 4 can you think about not being a Sword and Shield? That's a good common question of the day, actually. Not limited to Generation 4, but... What Pokemon do you think will not be in Sword and Shield? I think Glamio and Perugly definitely have a really good chance of not being in there. And, um... Actually, maybe Shinx, now looking at my team. I really like the Luxray line, but I feel like they're a little bit forgettable still. So, I feel like they might not be in there either. <sighs> I'm gonna be able to get an Onyx. If I'm lucky. Or nothing. An Onyx at best, nothing at worst. Well, I think uh, I down there I can see an Ace Trainer. So if you only have Geodude, that's fine. Because I can go to the Ace Trainer, which actually has, like, proper movesets on a Pokemon. So please just have two Geodudes. That would be great. I would very much appreciate that. Um, this is a little bit of a risky move, admittedly, going into uh, Kevin because it's still a fire type. But it's also a fighting type, so I feel like I'll be fine. Cue up me dying in one hit to a rock throw. Because now it'll definitely... It won't let's beat me because Mark Punch has priority! Yeah, okay, no, I'm totally... Oh, that... Only... Ah, uh, now it's gonna three hit. Please! Arceus, give me a freaking critical hit. Oh. It, it's not gonna matter, but it's just an annoyance. Because it survives, and it's just because of the defense scroll, and it literally doesn't have any useful moves. I mean, it's only used three of them so far, so it probably has Rock Throw. Well, actually, it might not, because otherwise it would definitely have used it instead of Mudsport here. It might not have any useful moves. So, do you have an Onyx or a second Geodude is my question, because I really, really hope you have a second Geodude. Because that would allow me to... Ah, oh, you have an Onyx. I'm going to have to catch this Onyx, which... I don't have any rock types anymore, actually, because both of them died. Well, that's pretty... That's a pretty good thing, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. It's level 18 as well. What level is Gardenia? I, I really... Now I'm getting confused. Um, Platinum Gyms. Let's see. Gym leaders in Elite Four. I do this literally every episode, I feel like, but... Gardenia. 
Not van Zena. Gdini. I was very scared for a moment. Even though. What? Why didn't I go into Linus? I have a grass type. Why wouldn't I go into my fucking grass type? Oh my god. I was just in time to see the fact that it was a critical hit. I was going to say I was very scared because I pulled up um, the team and I saw a level 65 Rose Raid, but that's definitely the rematch. Um, yeah, level 22 is a Rose Raid and then level 20 are Turdwig and Cherim. So, and of course I killed Olmex. Because Maggot Ranger just takes it out. Today is not a good day. I mean, I still have Toby. I'll be able to take care of the gym, no issues, but it's still annoying. And, okay, green is evolving. It's not going to be useful for the gym, but at least green is evolving into a uh, Luxio. Which I actually think Luxio is my favorite out of the evolutionary line. I really like Shinx. I don't much like Luxray, to be honest. Luxio, perfect middle ground. Usually middle evolutions are a little bit like awkward and the embodiment of what puberty is, really. But I think Luxio actually... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So is there anything in here I can do? No. No, there is not. So I literally can't do anything. So next episode we're going to have four Pokemon. All at level 20. And that's going to be my team to take on Gardenia. And I, there's nothing else I can do in this episode. I'm sorry, it's just going to be a shorter episode. Only thing I can do is grind at this point, because I'm not going into the gym now. You, you think I'm going into the gym now? You're crazy. I just lost two Pokemon, one of which was a fairly important part of my strategy for this gym, even though there's not a lot of strategy needed. It's it's just a main series Pokemon game. I, I'm not going into the gym. There's no way in hell I'm going into the gym. So what I'm going to do is... Get an act from Cynthia, maybe? Or do you only get that after the gym? I would very much like it to... Give it to me inside... Like right now. Because the Tokopi would be fairly welcome. Because I could get a Toka tick. Because I just got the Soothe Bell as well. You could get a token tick before next episode, which is a flying type! That would be amazing! Please give me the egg! You're not gonna give me the egg, are you? Which means our encounter for this town is not gonna be the egg. Our encounter for this town is going to be something inside the gym. <sighs> I would have very much liked to get the Togepi egg as our encounter for this city. Because, frankly, I don't need another grass type right now. Because even if I can take the gym leader's ace, which that episode hasn't gone up yet, so I haven't seen you guys' comments about it, but I already have a Rosalia. Which, I don't even know how that would work, to be honest. Um, because that would be duped close, so would I be able to catch the Cherim? I've already had a third week as well. Huh. That is a very interesting thing to think about, actually. Well, uh, that's both uh, the starter Pokemon I had gone. And I'm not even able to recapture Kevin in the next rival fight because Dupes Claws. Right? So... It's a short episode. I'm sorry. It's a little bit of a shorter episode. It's not that short, all things considered. It's still, like, well over 20 minutes. And um, I'm going to grind this team to level 20. And next episode we'll probably only see Toby. Because green is not going to be too useful. Matt might actually be a little bit useful. And Linus, well, depending on the moves they get, I suppose. But I don't think between now and level 20 they're going to get particularly great moves. So it's probably going to be a very Toby-centric episode next time. Until then, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have indeed enjoyed this video. Which hopefully you have. I sure as hell didn't. I'll see you back next time. Bye.